Shadows danced across the walls of the dimly lit interrogation room as Samantha Ray stepped inside, her heart pounding against her chest. The air felt thick with tension and unspoken secrets. She smoothed her tailored suit, a carefully crafted armor against the darkness that threatened to engulf her client. Marcus sat at the metal table, his piercing blue eyes locking onto hers. In that moment, the rest of the world fell away, and it was just the two of them, bound by a connection that defied logic and threatened to consume them both. Marcus, Samantha began, her voice steady despite the turmoil raging within her. I need the truth. The whole truth. What happened the night your father was killed? A flicker of pain crossed Marcus's chiseled features, and Samantha felt a pang of sympathy mingled with an undeniable attraction. She mentally chastised herself. He was her client, accused of a heinous crime. She couldn't let her guard down no matter how magnetic his presence. Marcus leaned forward, his hands clasped tightly before him. Samantha, I swear on my life I didn't kill my father. But there are things you need to know, things that could change everything. Samantha listened intently as Marcus recounted the events of that fateful night, her pen flying across her notepad. His father, the wealthy and influential Jonathan Steele, had been found dead in his study, a single gunshot wound to the head. The police had been quick to point the finger at Marcus, the prodigal son with a troubled past. But as Marcus spoke, Samantha sensed there was more to the story. The strained relationship between father and son, the whispered arguments behind closed doors, the shadowy figures that seemed to lurk at the edges of the Steele family empire. Samantha's mind raced as she tried to piece together the puzzle. She had taken on Marcus's case as a favor to her mentor, the brilliant defense attorney Robert Langdon. But with each passing moment, she found herself drawn deeper into the web of secrets and lies that surrounded the Steele family. As the interrogation concluded, Samantha felt a flicker of doubt. Could Marcus be telling the truth? Or was he a master manipulator weaving a tale to ensnare her in his deadly game? She pushed the thoughts aside as she gathered her belongings and prepared to leave. She had a job to do, and she wouldn't rest until she uncovered the truth. The next day, Samantha found herself standing before the imposing gates of the Steele family mansion. The sprawling estate exuded wealth and power, but beneath the polished exterior, Samantha sensed a darkness lurking. She made her way to Jonathan Steele's study, the scene of the crime. The room was a testament to the man's influence, with towering bookshelves and priceless artworks adorning the walls. But Samantha's keen eye was drawn to a small, almost imperceptible detail, a hidden safe tucked away behind a painting. With a sense of urgency, Samantha set to work cracking the code. Her fingers flew across the keypad, her mind racing through countless possibilities. And then with a soft click, the safe swung open, revealing a stack of documents that would change everything. Samantha's heart stopped as she rifled through the papers, her eyes widening with each damning piece of evidence. There, in black and white, was proof that her own sister, Emily, had been involved in the murder. Emily, the black sheep of the family, forever living in Samantha's shadow. Emily, whose jealousy and resentment had festered over the years, turning into something dark and twisted. Samantha's hands shook as the realization washed over her, her own flesh and blood capable of such betrayal. And worse, she had unwittingly played a role in Marcus's downfall, her success fueling Emily's bitter envy. Torn between her duty to the law and her loyalty to her sister, Samantha knew she had to confront Emily. She raced to her sister's apartment, her mind reeling with the weight of her discovery. Emily answered the door with a sneer, her eyes narrowing as she took in Samantha's disheveled appearance. Well, well, if it isn't the golden child. Come to gloat about your latest victory. Samantha pushed past her, the incriminating documents clutched tightly in her hand. Emily, we need to talk. I know what you did. I know you framed Marcus for murder. Emily let out a bitter laugh, her face twisting into a mask of hatred. Of course you know. You always know everything, don't you? Perfect Samantha, with her perfect life and her perfect career. Well, guess what? I'm done living in your shadow. Samantha felt her heart break as she saw the pain and resentment etched into her sister's features. 
How had she been so blind to Emily's suffering? How had she let their relationship deteriorate to this point? Emily, please, Samantha pleaded, her voice cracking with emotion. It doesn't have to be this way. We can fix this. Together. But Emily's eyes flashed with a dangerous light. Fix this? There's nothing to fix, Samantha. I've already won. Marcus will go down for the murder and you'll be left with nothing. Just like you left me with nothing. Samantha felt a surge of anger and determination. She wouldn't let Emily destroy an innocent man's life. She wouldn't let her own mistakes tear their family apart. With a heavy heart, she made the call to the police. As the sirens approached, Samantha turned to leave, her eyes brimming with tears. But Emily wasn't finished. With a snarl of rage, she lunged at Samantha. A glinting knife clutched in her hand. Samantha reacted on instinct, her years of self-defense training kicking in. She dodged the blade, grappling with her sister as they fell to the floor in a tangle of limbs. The knife clattered to the ground, and Samantha pinned Emily's arms behind her back, her breath coming in ragged gasps. Emily, stop. It's over. Please, just let me help you. But Emily's eyes were wild with fury and desperation. I don't need your help, Samantha. I don't need anyone. I'll make you pay for what you've done. The police burst through the door, their weapons drawn. Samantha stepped back, her heart shattering as she watched them handcuff her sister and lead her away. She returned to Marcus, her eyes haunted by the events of the day. He took one look at her and pulled her into his arms, his strength enveloping her like a warm embrace. Samantha, I'm so sorry, he murmured, his lips brushing against her hair. I never meant for you to get caught up in my family's troubles. Samantha clung to him, her tears soaking his shirt. It's not your fault, Marcus. We'll get through this together. I won't let Emily destroy your life. Marcus cupped her face in his hands, his blue eyes searching hers. Samantha, there's something I need to tell you. Something I've been afraid to admit, even to myself. Samantha's breath caught in her throat as Marcus leaned in closer, his lips hovering inches from hers. I love you, Samantha. I've loved you from the moment I first saw you. And I know it's wrong. I know we can't be together, but I can't deny what I feel any longer. Samantha's heart raced as she lost herself in the depths of his gaze. She knew it was forbidden, knew that falling for a client could destroy her career and her reputation. But in that moment, none of it mattered. All that mattered was the man before her. The man who had stolen her heart and awakened a passion she had never known. Their lips met in a searing kiss, a kiss that spoke of love and longing, of secrets and sacrifice. Samantha melted into his embrace, her body molding to his as if they were two halves of a whole. Samantha's lips enveloped his tongue, sucking it passionately as if trying to draw out the very essence of him. She then sank her teeth into his chest, leaving bite marks that would later blossom into a constellation of love bites. He wasted no time in tearing away at her clothing, his hands hungrily cupping and kneading her mounds as he ardently sucked on her peaks, savoring their taste as if they were the sweetest nectar. He then turned her over, his hand coming down with a forceful sting on her rear end, leaving behind red imprints that would serve as a testament to his desire. With renewed vigor, he thrust into her from behind, his teeth sinking into her neck in a primal display of possession and passion. Saliva dripped from his lips, cascading down her chest like a waterfall of carnal desire. As he thrust into her from behind, his rhythmic, powerful movements ignited a wave of pleasure that radiated through her entire body. It was as if she were a delicate flower slowly opening its petals to the warm embrace of the sun, revealing the beauty hidden beneath layers of softness and tenderness. Her skin tingled with a sensation she could only describe as an electrifying current coursing through her veins, and it wasn't long before she felt the familiar rumblings in her core begin to build. The sounds that filled the room during their lovemaking were not unlike a symphony of passion. The moans and gasps, blending together in a harmonious crescendo that seemed to swell with each thrust, matching the rhythmic beat of his body against hers. As he continued to thrust deeper within her, her sensations grew more intense, like a fire burning ever brighter as it consumed everything in its path. 
And then, just when she thought she couldn't take any more, a tidal wave of pleasure erupted from her very soul, washing over her like a powerful geyser, shooting high into the sky. She could feel herself squirting with an intensity she had never experienced before, and it felt as though every ounce of pleasure she had ever known was being released all at once, splashing all over her behind in a cascade of liquid ecstasy. In that moment, she felt completely vulnerable and exposed, yet at the same time, it felt like the most natural thing in the world. And as he continued to thrust into her, they both surrendered to the raw power of their connection, lost in the sweet dance of passion that consumed them both. As the last drops of liquid pleasure dripped from her body, he gently kissed her behind and licked up every last trace of what she had released. The taste was sweet and intoxicating, like a nectar that only love could create. And as he tasted her, he felt a deep sense of connection, as if their bodies had become one in the most intimate way possible. As he neared his own climax, he pulled away and guided her to kneel before him. She eagerly took him into her mouth, swirling her tongue around his shaft as if trying to coax the very essence of him out of it. Her eyes locked onto his, a look of pure unadulterated desire shining in them as she gave herself fully to the act, pleasuring him until he finally exploded deep within her mouth. As his release poured forth, Samantha's eyes widened with anticipation as she eagerly awaited the moment when she could take him into her mouth. As the first droplets of his essence landed on her tongue, she savored the taste, letting it linger before swallowing it down in a sensual display of devotion. Her groin trembled and convulsed with the intensity of her pleasure, as if trying to match the rhythm of their entwined bodies in a dance of ecstasy. But even as they lost themselves in each other, Samantha knew that their love was a dangerous game. With Emily's betrayal hanging over them and the eyes of the world watching their every move, they would have to fight for their future, fight for the chance to build a life together. In the days that followed, Samantha immersed herself in Marcus's defense, every waking moment consumed by the need to uncover the truth. She meticulously examined the evidence, searching for any detail that the police might have overlooked. With each witness she interviewed, Samantha felt the pieces of the puzzle slowly falling into place. I just don't understand why Emily would do this, Samantha confided in Marcus, one evening, her voice heavy with exhaustion and sorrow. She's my sister? I thought I knew her. Marcus reached out, his hand gently covering hers. Sometimes the people closest to us are the ones we understand the least. But Samantha, this isn't your fault. You can blame yourself for Emily's choices. Samantha met his gaze, drawing strength from the unwavering love and support she saw reflected in his eyes. I know, but I can't help feeling like I failed her somehow. Like, if I had just been a better sister, maybe none of this would have happened. You're an amazing sister, Samantha. And an even more amazing woman. Don't let Emily's actions make you doubt yourself. We'll get through this together. With renewed determination, Samantha threw herself back into the investigation, chasing down every lead, no matter how small. Through every twist and turn of the case, Marcus remained Samantha's rock, his unwavering love and support a beacon of light in the darkness. They carved out moments of solace amidst the chaos, stolen kisses and whispered promises, reminding them of what they were fighting for. I don't know what I'd do without you. Samantha murmured one night, her head resting on Marcus's chest, as they lay tangled together in the sheets. Marcus pressed a tender kiss to her forehead, his fingers tracing gentle patterns on her bare skin. You'll never have to find out. I'm here, Samantha. Always. In those moments, the outside world fell away, and it was just the two of them, their love a force strong enough to overcome any obstacle. As the trial loomed on the horizon, Samantha steeled herself for the emotional battle ahead. She knew that she would be forced to confront the painful truth about Emily, to dredge up the long-buried secrets that had haunted their family for years. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this, Samantha admitted to Marcus, her voice trembling as they stood together on the courthouse steps. To look my sister in the eye and expose her for what she's done. Marcus took her face in his hands, his touch gentle but firm. Samantha? You are the strongest person I know. You've faced down criminals and fought for justice your entire career. This is just one more battle, and I know you'll come out on top. 
Samantha drew in a shaky breath, drawing strength from his unwavering belief in her. You're right. I have to do this. For you, for us, and for the truth. With a final reassuring kiss, they entered the courthouse, ready to face whatever lay ahead. In the courtroom, Samantha was a force to be reckoned with. She dismantled the prosecution's case piece by piece, exposing the inconsistencies and half-truths that had been spun to paint Marcus as a killer. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Samantha began her closing argument, her voice ringing out clear and strong. The evidence before you tells a story. But it, it's not the story the prosecution would have you believe. It's a story of a man wrongfully accused, of a sister's jealousy and betrayal, and of a truth that has been buried for far too long. As Samantha laid out the facts, her words painting a vivid picture of the events that had led them to this moment, she could see the doubt and uncertainty creeping into the jurors' eyes. With each revelation, each piece of evidence that pointed to Emily as the true culprit, Samantha felt the tide turning in their favor. Marcus Steele is an innocent man, Samantha declared, her voice filled with conviction. He has been the victim of a terrible injustice, and it is up to you to set that right. I ask you to look beyond the lies and the manipulation to see the truth that has been staring us in the face all along. Marcus is not guilty and it is your duty to ensure that justice is served. As Samantha took her seat, her heart racing with the adrenaline of the moment, she felt Marcus's hand slip into hers beneath the table. They exchanged a glance, a silent acknowledgement of the battle they had fought, and the love that had sustained them through it all. And then, after an agonizing wait, the verdict was read. Not guilty? Two simple words that meant everything. Marcus was free, and the truth had finally come to light. She turned to Marcus, her eyes shining with love and triumph. He pulled her into his arms, his lips finding hers in a kiss that sealed their fate. In the aftermath of the trial, Samantha and Marcus found themselves picking up the pieces of their shattered lives. Emily's betrayal had left deep scars, both on their family and their hearts. I don't know how to move forward from this, Samantha confessed one evening, as they sat together on the porch of Marcus's family home. Everything has changed. I feel like I don't even know who I am anymore. Marcus wrapped an arm around her shoulders, pulling her close. You're still the same strong, brilliant, passionate woman I fell in love with. Emily's actions don't change that. We'll find our way through this, together. Samantha leaned into his embrace, drawing comfort from his solid presence. I know. It's just going to take time. But with you by my side, I know we can face anything. As they sat there, watching the sun sink below the horizon, Samantha felt a glimmer of hope for the future. The road ahead wouldn't be easy, but they had each other. And in the end, that was all that mattered. Together, they would rebuild their lives, forge a new path untainted by the sins of the past. And through it all, their love would be their guiding light, a testament to the unbreakable bond they shared. They walked out of the courthouse hand in hand. Samantha knew that they could face whatever challenges lay ahead because they had each other, and in the end, that was all that mattered. Their love had been forged in the fires of adversity, tempered by the weight of secrets and lies. But it had emerged stronger, more powerful than ever before. And as they stepped into the sunlight, ready to face the world together, Samantha knew that nothing could tear them apart.